Hello, I am back today with two spring plates from uh, Dixie Plates. This one is Spring 01, and then this one that I'm going to show you also is Botanicals 01, and I think these go really well together, so I'm going to review them together. Okay, so first, if you just want a quick look at the plate, let's take a look. Lots of cool layering images. Love them. Love, 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 love. Okay, that's Spring 01. And then here is just a quick shot of Botanicals 01. All right, so let's get on in here. And as you probably noticed, this is primarily a layering plate. So what she did was she broke down all these beautiful flowers and all of these beautiful butterflies and dragonflies into all of their component parts so you can, you know, make the most gorgeous, like, dandelions or these beautiful uh, butterflies. Um, these kind of, like, this is almost like a water lily. So, so she's broken it down into your stems for you so you can do, like, two different colors of green or you can do one green and one black. Um, you can do two different colors of like say pink here for your flower or again do pink and then black or um, pink and white or white and pink or you know however you want to do it and I love that these are like photorealistic layering images so um, just, there are a lot of plates out there that have like simple flowers that you can do which are gorgeous for many many things but I like having the option of having like these gorgeous more photorealistic flowers that you can do and then I love that she also gave you multiple, like look at all of the different layers on this butterfly. So here we've got three layers for this butterfly, so you can go in there with three different colors. Here we've got four layers, so you can go in with four different colors. Now you don't have to, you know, even if you just stamped this one and that one, you're going to have a gorgeous layered image. But she gives you the option to play around with all of these uh, different layers. Um, again here, some some stems that are separate from the flowers so like you can put this stem um, along in addition to this stem create your own collage you could use these stems here up with uh, these flowers you could use this stem with that flower so don't assume that just because they're next to each other on the plate they have to go together um, love the ladybugs and the ladybugs are a little bit more of the cute level but ladybugs are you know they're kind of solid colors so so a lot of times I've seen ladybugs that like are, have their their wings open and then they show you kind of like the under wings of the shell. So you could do a look like that with that or you could just play around and have the wings in different positions and, you know, position the dots however you want to in those, um, you know, when you're playing around with that. And the same thing here with the dots here for your wings for this one. And I love, oh, dragonflies are my thing. And I love how intricate this dragonfly is. So cool. This bird of paradise flower with the different two different layers. I've never seen anything else like that. Maybe there's a plate out there like it. I haven't seen it. This is gorgeous. And then again here, the photorealism, but the three different layers. So you can get those three different uh, colors in there. Um, but also, like, I just love this as an image um, and especially as a collage image to put down and not layer it together so don't just look at these as layering images look at them for you know what they do in terms of graphic designs as well all of these different layers here for these gorgeous um, for this gorgeous kind of like daisy love 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 um, and then here we have some full nail images with some layering capability and mushrooms, toadstools. I love that. I almost just did um, a fairy manicure for a challenge I'm in and this would have been perfect. If I'd had this image to put my fairies, to perch my fairies on, I totally would have done that. Okay, then the botanicals collection. I think this is not a layering plate, but you can see right off the bat why I think um, this matches so well with this. So if you look at this flower right here with the different layers, then look at how well um, this would go along with that. So let's say you're doing, you know, you're making a collage, you stamp these a couple places, then you stamp this one with a layered color, pow, on an accent nail. Same thing like um, with with these here. I think these all just kind of mix and match so well. And why couldn't you have a, a design that has, you know, daisies, and then more of these kind of like, what is this? It's not a tulip, but it's something I'm so bad with. You think by now I would know like all of the names of the flowers. And then you've got some of these that are longer stem. And I think that could, you could just layer it in with these um, flowers. Like look at this rose here and how well these leaf images would go with this rose. Gorgeous. 
Um, and this, I love how this goes with that. So like you could do a background pattern on all of your nails with this one and then pow, pop this gorgeous bigger one there. I think that looks so beautiful together. Then the different kinds of poppies. So, you know, mix and match like crazy. And you don't need either one of these plates for the other, but I just think they work so well together. I had to show them to you together. In terms of techniques, um, these kinds of plates are made for coloring in. So you color in with Sharpies, use the Sharpie alcohol ink technique, um, you know, lead light, make your decals, all of these kinds of things are going to be beautiful for these. And then if you want something simpler, learn you don't want to have to lead light, you don't want to have to make a decal, then these layering images for these flowers are going to make it gorgeous and easy for you to get all kinds of different layers. So play around with all of those different techniques. Let me give you a quick shot here of how big these are so you can get a feel for whether or not these are going to work on your nails. And then the same thing here with the botanicals plate. You can see how big they are and if they're going to work with your size nails or not. And then let's go see how they stamp. All right, for my stamping test, I'm going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Midnight Drive, if you can see that there. I'm also going to use Sally Hansen Insta Dry Reteal Therapy and my clear stamper. There's your first layer, and on the nail. There's the second layer with those fine, fine lines, and there they are together. And I had a viewer ask me recently about um, how to do images like this that have big, wide spaces. So you'll see that I just scraped really gently, and I tried to scrape diagonal to um, the biggest area. This is very round, so it's hard to find a, a, the biggest area. So pick as best you can and scrape gently, and you'll be in good shape. And there's the second layer, and there they are together. So this image is a bit big for my nail, so I would normally overlap it a little bit like that. And there's that gorgeous second layer, and there it is, layered. Right, so there's the first layer, just with the second layer. Oh, how pretty! I love that. Oh, that came out so pretty. All right, so let's try a couple off the botanicals plate. Okay, I'm going to switch here to Messy Mansion Carbon. Sometimes when um, you're using these plates that have the extremely fine lines, they can be a little bit trickier. And uh, the type of stamper that you use and the type of stamping polish you use can make a big difference. So if you do find yourself with a plate like this that has the fine lines and it's not picking up the way that you want it to, um, try a different polish uh, and see if that works any better for you. All right, so let's take a look here. And there we go beautiful detail and there we go on the nail and there we go on the detail there and there it is on the nail there and keep in mind you are going to want to work you're going to want to scrape gently and work quickly and there's that beautiful crocus there's that full nail poppy design. So I think the images on this plate are gorgeous and it does stamp well, but with fine line design sometimes, and this is no exception, you really, um, they can be a little bit finicky. So scrape gently, work quickly. Uh, if you have trouble, switch up the stamper and switch up the polish that you're using, um, but you should be able to get uh, very nice detail uh, and gorgeous results. Uh, all right, I will link everything down below and thank you for watching. Thank you.